Good evening and welcome to another episode of Mentality, the only male-only show on TV. On Mentality, we seek to break the myth that there can only be mainstream talk on TV. On Mentality, we talk about issues that relate to men but affect women. And here, no topic is taboo. My name is Ian Bogu and I'm your host, together with, on my far right, Edward Quach. Good evening. And Pastor S. Good evening. Today's topic is very interesting. Why do men in their 40s and 50s run after girls who are in their early 20s? Before we jump into that, let's go on to the street and see what the men on the street have to say about this. Well, they want to feel young. They want to feel young. They want to feel. Uh, they don't want to feel that they are losing it at their old age. So they, they feel, man, I go to, I go to rejuvenate my youth. So how else? And you know, these guys are also available. They're looking at the older men and saying, okay, they have the money, and uh, also they, they have everything it takes. The young people are very young. They are all over wasting themselves. And this old man seems to have the money. Seems to have everything going for him. Well, becomes a temptation for the man. What does he do? Maybe the wife at 50. It doesn't look such so attractive. A girl at 20 looks more attractive. And since he has the money, the girl will go, the girl will go for him. But you know, they want to feel young. Yeah, because when you are old and you go out with a young girl, you also, you look as if you are young. But in the real sense, you are not. It's like menopause for women. Their women or their wives deny them conjugal rights. And these are basic uh, human needs. So they tend to be starved and men are forced to deviate and have an extramarital affair. The, the ladies are after them, you understand? And I mean, if, 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 if these ladies are after them and, and they are seeing something that's free, I mean, free meat, then why not? Wow, quite strong views. Indeed. And it looks like it's something that's been happening for so long that we've taken it for granted. It's, it's, a, it's a given. Time, so we need to talk about it. Time immemorial. And uh, do you know what? I, I, I think sometimes we consider it sort of like a rite of passage. Right? Rite of passage? Rite of passage. There what you are. Mean? You have, and most of, most of the guys that we're talking about are settled, mm -hmm. okay, married, and you're in the family way. That is now, 30s. Yeah, 30s, 40s, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Now, when you got into the competitive phase of now what we call tuning, courtship, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. late teens, 20s, and then, you know, you uh, met uh, the better three quarters, so to speak. <laughs> that in itself was an adventure, was a challenge, all right? right, right. Now, when you now have settled, because clearly mm. it's now a scenario where, okay, I've got this person, and age starts to take its toll. Mm -hmm. We're now looking for the fresh fruit. Mm. And the fresh fruit is there in abundant supply. Mm. Why not partake of it? Uh, so is it a yeah. game then? Is it a game? Well, you, you, you know what I, what I hear you say, Quach? Yeah. It's like men just want adventure. Yes. Not family. Yes. Not love. Yes. Not commitment. No, no, no. no. You get this person yes. uh, in your 20s, late 20s. Mm. Uh, I think uh, many of us these days marry at that age. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then into the 30s, yes. I mean, how much of age has caught up with this woman? And with you as well. Yes. And now you say you begin to, you want an adventure again. Yes. You yes. go down to <clears throat> the ladies who are in their 20s. And you, you go to this naive person. Right. No challenge. Because yes. I believe as a man, I want a challenge. Yes. Uh, I, I, I want to, to feel like a man right. as I approach someone. But uh, early 20s. Naive pastor, pastor, uh, lady, just it, looking you, for money, you've looking said it, for... You've, you've said it right there. You've yes. hit the nail on the head. Uh -huh. You want mm -hmm. to feel like a man. Mm -hmm. you know, but this won't is... you feel like a man if you're, if you're with somebody your own age? No, no, no. You know what? Um, in, in terms of um, your own age or your life partner. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, guys? Yes. This mm -hmm. is a person who, that is your friend, mm -hmm. your partner. All that you're talking about, the person <clears throat> you love, one, two, three, four. Yeah. This young 20-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. You only want her for sexual stimulation, mm -hmm. stroke satisfaction. Mm -hmm. That's it. So I it's mean, about sex. That's it. <clears throat> uh, let, me, let me cut you short. Never. You know what I think? Yeah. 
I actually agree with you. Yes. The attraction is there. Yes. Uh, because at this time, you've settled down. You've yes. known this woman for some time. Yes. You're building your marriage. That's right. Uh, probably in the first phase, yes. or a conflict is checking in. Yes. So you begin to look out for something different. Yes. Uh, I agree that happens. Yes. But this is what I want to say. You well, said it's about being a man. For me, manhood <laughs> yeah. uh, is a commitment uh -huh. to water your grass, uh -huh. even when it's not green. Uh -huh. Instead of going for green grass, uh -huh. uh, that's being a coward. Right. Uh, say, let me go and find my uh, desires for field elsewhere. Yes. Uh, you said it's just about sex. Right. I think it's also about rela uh, relationship. relationships. You just want to connect with someone who is younger. It's very attractive to a man, but it's wrong. It's not masculine. Let what is the attraction? What is the attraction? What, okay, here, you're a 40-year-old guy. Yes, yes. Okay, what are you going to look for in this 20-something-year-old girl? Looks? Let me personally paint you guys a picture, okay? Yeah. When you, you guys, when you're at home and occasionally you will repaint the house, mm -hmm. how do you feel when that happens? Of course, good, but nice. uh, exactly. you, you got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the same house. Oh, come on. No, 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 yes. no, no, no. It's the same and house. you know what? In this day and age, yeah. I say, like, in Kenya now, we've got uh, stuff like Botox, uh -huh. God forbid, and then we've got the breast implants. Yeah. But when you think of that mm. on your madam, you're like, how disgusting, never, ever. Mm. You know, gravity is taking its toll <laughs> on our women. And you know, they age quick, fast, minus the slow. But, but so, you know, you work, you work on, on what one? you have. Yeah. You've just said it. You yes. don't change houses. Yes. Same house. You don't you change houses. You no, paint no. So you the begin house. to take her out yes. to Zanzibar or somewhere else. Uh, you begin to prop her up and just say, Excuse you know, you're me? still my woman. The only uh, way I want to the take breast will you. come back into <laughs> position is if we add some you, silicone. You know, that's off. Uh, um, no, that's no, off. Because no. we're not talking about no, that. No, no, it's not about Pastor, just looks. Pastor, you talked about sex. Yeah? Sex, that's it. Yeah. And sex is included it in that can't, it, of ca looks. it can't all just, just all be no, about sex. I'm telling sex. you guys, honestly, honestly, we will sit, we will sit, personally, myself, <clears throat> right? 40 <clears throat> years old. Yeah. I will sit with this um, college chick, <clears throat> all right? Yeah. And obviously, because she doesn't want to feel used and abused, mm -hmm. I will entertain her with some sort of conversation. Yet She'll you're using yes. her. You're Thank you. Her. At the Thank end you. of it. Okay. So there's so companionship you... there as well. Mm. No, no. For her, it's companionship. Mm. To me, I'm just buying time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> let, let me say something, Quach. Yeah. You, you know what I think we need to say to right. us as men? Right. We need to be men enough. Right. Uh, as a man enough, as a man who decides I'll be a real man, yeah. uh, this is what you do. Yeah. You don't uh, take advantage of your daughter. Right. It's almost like your daughter. Right. You don't take advantage of her. You, you begin to say love for me is commitment. It's not sex. Sex is an, is an expression of love, Ian, Ian, but it's I, not it. Ian, I think Pastor you say I want to be committed to this woman. When, when he starts telling us, and of yeah. course we take... Um, he is, you know, a morally upright citizen. Mm. But when he takes that high ground and says, you know what, this is like your daughter. Mm. I don't think he's saying that. No, that mm. is not. It makes us feel guilty. But right? you're supposed to feel bad about it in okay. the first place. No, no, but yes, indeed, we do but feel it has become acceptable. Yeah. It has become in, acceptable. Indeed, you know what? Mm. In, in some quarters, mm. once you have achieved some sort of, thank you, Ian, once mm. you have achieved, achieved some sort of status position, yeah. all right, yeah. if you do not have, Mm -hmm. A young Turk, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You ain't man enough. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. I don't agree with you that it's only sex. Right? Yes, I don't. Uh, there's an adventure, and, and I believe you're saying that there's also companionship. There is. Because, because you will the... find these people, mm -hmm. you will find them in clubs, yes. surrounded by these girls. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. That's if right. it was just sex alone, mm -hmm. yes. they'd be in some motel. Because this is why I think uh, companionship also comes in. Right. Because as a man at that time, uh, maybe your wife is getting kids, 30s, 40s, uh, and all of that. And so she's busy with the kids. Uh, you're so probably not busy with the kids. Yeah. Most men are not. Yeah. Uh, and you begin to feel lonely. Yeah. You begin to feel maybe this woman is concentrating on the kids or on other things, maybe career or other things. So I need some companionship out there. Uh, we are saying that happens. But I think the real question uh, to a man is do you understand that choices have consequences? This is not a game. You're not playing with just a doll or a toy thing. You're playing with someone's life. Uh, you're entertaining her, buying her V's or whatever it is you're doing, uh, but this is someone's life. And, and I think it's not just being morally upright. Uh, it's common sense. 
take care of this woman uh, because one day it's going to be your daughter being hit on by another man who is at that age. Uh, and we just need to understand choices have consequences. But it also talks about the state of the marriage today. Mm -hmm. And the wife is also to blame. Mm -hmm. A wife is to blame as well. Mm -hmm. She plays her part yeah. because she used to doll herself up. Yes. Mm -hmm before you yes. got married. But once you get married, yes. mm. she doesn't feel she needs to do that She's anymore. She's having stockings in the head. Gentlemen. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. what, what you do is you go home and you see that. Mm -hmm. You decide tomorrow I'll pass by the club. Yes. And it becomes a habit. Yes. Mm -hmm. So women, wives, also start, need to start looking at themselves mm -hmm. and remembering that what attracted that man to you yes. mm -hmm still needs to keep going. Right. Yeah. Yes. You, you have know, to look after yourself. And Ian, thank you for bringing that up because a big ask that I ask myself constantly, mm -hmm. and like we said, we go there, mm -hmm. I'm surrounded by my peers, mm -hmm. all of them married with the kids, yeah. but we come with our dogo dogos. Uh -huh. That's why we call them dogo dogos. Yeah. Of course, it's a status symbol. Yeah. The more, the merrier. Mm -hmm. I've got two, there's Janet, there's mm -hmm. Jane, mm -hmm. there's Josephine, mm -hmm. all right? And I'm dealing mm -hmm. with all of them. Mm -hmm. And then George has got his three as well. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. The big ask, and I ask myself this 24 7, 365. Mm -hmm. And Ian brought up the wives. Mm -hmm. Pastor S, mm -hmm. if I can chomoka from Nairobi, mm -hmm. all right, on a Friday evening right. after Jobo mm -hmm. at two, mm -hmm. all right, on the pretext that I'm going to play golf, mm -hmm. yeah. all right, then Naivasha is kicking like mm -hmm. a problem, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. and I'm there mm -hmm. until Sunday mm -hmm. with Josephine. Yeah. I always ask myself, mm -hmm. Ule Miss Madam, mm. yeah? that's my do? Mrs. Kerry Kwach. What is yeah. she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> of course, she's a good woman. Let's assume. And you know, and she's at home. But you see, no she's she's yeah. tied down. Yeah. Okay, if she's got a family, mm. then, she, Children. then she's unlikely to be doing what you are doing. Gentlemen, yeah. we're operating on the pretext that we married village idiots. Mm. Okay, yeah. they are not and especially our wives, our mm. partners, mm. okay? Mm. The reason why we made them our partners is because we've got something in common, right? Uh, yes, so absolutely. there must be they some sort of sharpness. Yes, well. yes. All right. So I think the women are to blame here because mm. it is the proverbial ostrich. Mm -hmm. Me, just as long as I don't see or mm. hear about mm. that drama okay, and my friends doing about it, uh, okay, absolutely good. Let, let me tell you what happens. Mm. For most of these women, they'll begin to challenge the man right. and say, what are you doing? Right. Uh, who are you meeting? Right. Blah, blah, blah. Right. But you know how we defend ourselves. Yes. You get rough on this yes. woman, right. you begin to threaten, you go right. to walk away, right. you begin to say certain things. Right. So you intimidate this woman. Right. She says, all right, right. I'd rather just be here right. and know I'm married right. uh, than this guy walk away. But I'll jump in here. Right. I think what's missing here yeah. is a young 20 something year old lady right. to come and tell us why mm -hmm. yeah. this happened. Right. Before she does, mm -hmm. we'll take a short break. Don't go away. Welcome back to Mentality. Today we're looking at the question of why men in their 40s, 50s and beyond chase after girls who are in their early 20s. And I think we need to hear from a girl who's in her early 20s. Before we introduce our guest, let's go to the streets and see what girls have to say about this. For those who are married, I think they are not getting the attention they're supposed to be getting in their homes. Their wives are busy with their children and uh, we know men need the woman's attention. For them that are not married, I think it's just a desire in them. They're supposed to be having a woman besides them, but she's not there. So they're looking for somebody for companionship, for company and all that. Get to the age where they suddenly realize, oh, I haven't achieved as much as I would have liked to, and time is running out. And one of the areas that they tend to feel as if um, they have conquered much is women, the sector of women, and so they just tend to go for the younger girls. And the younger girls are willing, so, yeah. Wow, strong views there as well. Mm -hmm. Our guest tonight is Patricia Kihoro. Welcome to the show, Patricia. Thank you. Thank All right, you. Tricia, so how old has your oldest been? <laughs> you know, I wish I, could, I wish I could talk to you from, from experience, but I've never, I've never actually ex like been in a relationship with Patricia, someone much older. Patricia, Pinocchio, Pinocchio. I, I promise. The nose is growing. Quatch, so. Quatch. <laughs> but I do know a lot of people right. who have had such relationships right. or who still are in such relationships. Mm. And... I listened to what you had to say, and I have to say, it's not always just about the sex. Right. 
Um, there's a lot of companionship to be offered, mm -hmm. which a lot of people don't believe, but mm -hmm. that's why you end up finding a lot of older men falling in love mm -hmm. with younger girls, not just mm -hmm. having sex with them and buying them fitzes, mm -hmm. but some of them actually do end up getting married. Mm -hmm. I know a couple who even have three children now. Mm -hmm. He was a lecturer, she was a student. How, why do they fall in love? <laughs> well, I, well, I have, I think with I have... a father figure. I have mm -hmm. a few explanations. Mm -hmm. There's this stage, which mm -hmm. someone called Freud mm -hmm. talked about, where mm -hmm. when girls are young, at about five, six, seven, mm -hmm. they, they're very attracted to their fathers. That's right. They, they, they sort of fall in love with their fathers because they're... they're looking for someone different than mum. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And at this point, you find that a lot of girls are closer to their fathers. Their fathers mm -hmm. are not not necessarily also in love with them in that sort of a way, but mm. they're really close at that point mm. and they fall in love and it's a stage that needs to be resolved. Mm -hmm. The girl will understand that, yes, my, my mother is in the picture. Mm. Um, the father, if he's a good role model, mm. he will, he will ex you know, he, in the sort of way that he relates to her, yeah. she will understand this is my father. He's mm. not here for any sort of mm. other relationship other mm. than just being mm. my father and they resolve it and they move on with life and they're fine. Yeah. So for girls who don't, sort of resolve that stage in their life, mm -hmm. you end up Amazing. finding that they, they, when they're older, mm -hmm. they seek out men like their fathers. Yeah. So, it's not, so it's not one way. It's not, it's not only the, the older men going no. for, it's no. also the younger girls going for, for the older. older men, yes. You know, I, I honestly really love this Psychology 101 <laughs> course, guys. It's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. But you know what? Yeah. Please, teacher. Yes. Class dismissed. <laughs> Listen, guys, uh -huh. honestly, please, when are we going to get to the bit mm -hmm. where we are going to drive down the street, <clears throat> all right? Patricia and her ilk mm -hmm. are going to be walking from class back to the halls of residence, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. So this is a 21, 22-year-old, right? Mm -hmm. 23, just started off her first job, right? Mm -hmm. And then she's like, what, the weaver's 45,000 bob. Mm -hmm. This guy who's my peer, mm -hmm. okay? He's a scrub, for, lack, for lack of a better phrase, all right? Mm. I need somebody to pay those bills. Mm. Fine, you guys want a sugar-coated companionship. No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, daddy was like this. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's, that's, that is all well and good, mm. Pastor S. Mm. Mm. But as Pastor Trichet said, she's got friends, of mm. course, and I say she's an exception to the rule, mm. okay? Mm. Because clearly she's level-headed, mm. yeah? And you'll find that the way she has been socialized, mm -hmm. she's been brought up well, yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. But Ian is a teacher, mm -hmm. okay? And he will know, obviously, with the, the one good apple, the mm -hmm. basket is full of the rotten ones. Mm -hmm. And we know the majority, are, and I meet them every mm -hmm. single night, mm -hmm. yeah? So, I'm so, like, why are you with this geriatric? Mm -hmm. I don't even have to ask a question, mm -hmm. okay? And what do they say? The flat in Kilimani, mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Okay? Mm. The moti, the vit, mm. all together. Yeah. Yeah? The majority of them don't, I mean, they finish school, they don't even start working because they're given allowances. Mm. Mm. So it's what, out what you're saying is what they can get it. Exactly. Out of it's it. an, but it's true. Uh, a no, means to an end. That was yeah. just one That's reason. It. Uh, There's also, yes, mm. money. Yeah. Money, mm -hmm. convenience, you're mm -hmm. going to make my life so much easier. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, my parents have di dictated that I have to go to school or I feel I need to go to school. Yeah. But so even when I'm in school, I have a lifestyle that I need to Are gold diggers. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're those gold diggers. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. what, what a lot of girls are looking for in terms of they see, you have, mm -hmm. you have a friend mm -hmm. and she's driving herself. Mm -hmm. She's got a really nice house. You're struggling in box. So you're so talking of peer pressure. You really? can't afford the shoes that she's wearing. Mm -hmm. You can't afford the hair or the clothes or to be in these places. Mm -hmm. She comes or she's telling you, yeah, over the break I went to Malaysia mm -hmm. or whatever for a holiday. Mm -hmm. if, if, if it really gets to you and you're that kind of a person who will think, I deserve that kind of stuff too. Mm -hmm. Why am I struggling here? I'm, I can get it now. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I'll get a job later when I'm done with school, mm -hmm. but even now I want yeah. that. So, there are so those girls who will say, you know what? There's so many men offering. Mm. Why can't I also mm. enjoy? And to, to your point of how mm. can you cheapen yourself, mm -hmm. I don't know. Some, yeah. For some people, sex is not an expression of love anymore. Mm. Sex yeah. is a biological mm. thing. You have sex, you get on with it. Mm. But uh, that's look, how far you, we have gone. You're in that society. age yeah. bracket. Mm. And has anybody ever hit on you? Of course. 
Well, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying, it's just the men are there, they will come up to you. One of them, just the other day, very direct, he comes and he asks me, so what are you studying? I'm like, oh no, I'm not in school anymore. Mm. This is what I do. Mm. He's like, really? Where, where? Oh, mm. you can listen here, you can mm. watch this. Mm. And he gets really offended mm -hmm. because I guess he's, he's used to someone being like, oh, you know, I like you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he's like, no, cut the nonsense. Mm. I can do this for you. I'll even buy you a Vitz. Mm. This is within 10 there minutes of meet, mm. meeting me. And you know, there his assumption is that this is what this there girl is. Mm. I will do this. I was like, you know what? It's really nice to meet you, but I'm not that go. kind of a person. And I am go. working because mm. the car I want to drive, I want to feel like it's mine. You know, mm. this house for me, I want some affirmation that I am capable of doing this for myself. Mm. Okay, That's miss, what my miss, parents taught me. Miss, miss, miss Independent. This guy, <laughs> this guy was Kenyan, yes? Yes, he's a Kenyan man. Are we together, gentlemen? It's not even about the white we're, guys. We're wait, 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 wait. Uh, what is it? We're not refusing this happens. Mm. It happens, uh, yes. I, I think what we're saying mm. is that this is cheap living. Mm. For the guy, mm. it's cheap living. Mm. Just to dish out money and stuff mm. uh, to get someone to bed That's right. uh, and all of that, it's cheap living. The, the trophy, uh, the you, trophy. Yeah, you're, you're supposed right. to, mm. to be you know, a better okay. man. It looks glossy, but it's not. Because uh, I want to say, Ian, we're in the mess we are in right now as a society because of these kinds of cheap arrangements. Uh, because let me ask <laughs> not you. Not you, not you, Patricia. <laughs> uh, let me ask you, mm -hmm. when you've been misused like that, because it's being misused as a woman, what kind of a mother are you going to be? How are you going to model for your girls? How are you going to model for your children? What kind of a father are you going to be, Quatch, if you're living this kind of life? And what happens is that we continue to cheapen the society. Uh, and we begin to wonder, why do we have a moral crisis? Why do we have a crime uh, you know, rate going up the way it's going? It's because of this kind of arrangements which eventually thing. affect the society. For, for a girl like me who's in that position, what mm. has she seen from her father? Mm -hmm. If she knows that, yes, my father is married to my mother, mm. but I know that he has a girl here who mm. is probably even in the same school that I am in, mm. my age, girls now, they know about it. Yeah. Their father, it's not a secret anymore. Yeah. Lady. They know, and then also as a girl, mm. I don't want to be like my mother, mm -hmm. who was left at home crying mm -hmm. every night, mm -hmm. but her father is out there having a good time. Uh, that's what uh, I'm saying. It's a cycle. It that is, goes guys, on and on. I, I, I think, I yeah. think um, when we, and I always, I say this all the time, Ian, mm -hmm. yeah, Pastor Simon, Patricia, is that we are African, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. and when we start bringing Western ideologies and mm -hmm. philosophies to the African context, mm -hmm. the way we have been gender socialized, mm -hmm. okay? Man. So you're saying right. an African man is polygamous by Bas, nature. Samaba. By nature, yeah. he can't help it. Samaba. And then there's nothing wrong. So let's not blame, I, I, I don't... look at what they saw from, yeah. look, at what, look at what daddy is doing, yeah. nonsense. Uh, that's right. Quite, let me tell that, you. Do you know what? It's you're a human expect. being, yes. not just an African. Yes. As a human being, uh. you're married to this woman. Mm. Uh, what would you do to her if you mm. find her cheating on you? Um, what do you think she feels? I can't say, I might get arrested. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because she's cheating. So my point is, this is not just uh, yeah. an African yeah. situation. No, it isn't. Yes. It's actually a human thing. Right. It's about society. Right. Uh, it's really about society. It's yes. about these girls. It's not just about us as Africans. So right. what you're saying is that men in their 40s, 50s, 60s, chasing 25-year-olds is generally accepted and it will continue. Oh, yes. And it's okay. And because it's okay. Yeah. In fact, Ian, if it changes, yeah. there's something wrong with our society. <laughs> and can I just add something? Okay. And can I just add something? It's not, it's not just accepted with the men. It's accepted. With yes. their wives, mm -hmm. it's accepted. It's just that the Thank women you. are discreet. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's some who don't, but you know, yeah. generally you'll yeah. find that this woman has known all the time. The husband does not know it, but the woman so, but knows. But you realize it's and not just girl... happy acceptance. It's actually a desperation. These guys are not changing. This guy is not being a good man. So what do I do? Okay. Fortunately, we are running out of time. So very quickly, let's final words. Quatch. Look. Men in their 40s, 50s, women in their early 20s. Mm. In our society, this will continue to happen. And you know what? To me, it maintains some sort of an equilibrium. <laughs> it keeps the older man sane, mm. and it keeps the younger woman in pocket. Mm. Otherwise, we'd have an Egypt scenario 
they'd be discontent within the camps. <laughs> so please. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Pastor S. Of course I, I believe you said with, that. Because <laughs> I disagree with Quach. Thank you. What I would say, we need a stable society. And even though these attractions come, men need to be real men and men enough to control themselves. I think what I have to say is that our fathers, people who are going to be fathers, people with daughters, mm -hmm. you need to teach yes. your daughters that they are princesses, they are queens, you know. Mm -hmm. They don't need a man to, you can give that, you can give that to your daughter, mm -hmm. you know. And you, men also need to realize that girls of my age, they're not stupid. They're not. They will act stupid because that's what you think mm -hmm. they are and they know, yeah, a guy needs me to act like, Ugh. but they're not stupid. Yeah. They know what they want, they will get it. It's no longer an emotional thing. Mm. It's happening and it's not gonna stop. I think men, the answer lies with the men. The girls have said that they do that because they, it's, an, it's, an, it's a means to an end. A man should provide for his family. A man should look after the education of his daughter who's in university and make sure that she has everything she needs so that she doesn't have to go out to somebody else. So men, it is your responsibility to curb this. Although Quach says that it is not possible. <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching Mentality. And until next week, from all of us, it's good night. Good night. <laughs>